Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, today we again will take a look at the euro currency. On Friday guys, uh, despite all our discussion that we have prepared on Friday, as you can see, uh, the, any data release is always the challenge and is always the risk. Uh, despite what we have said, despite the, all investors have expected the positive numbers on the uh, non-farm payrolls release, uh, despite that the non-farm payrolls release has a great correlation with the ADP that was rather positive, we've got the poor numbers. And uh, that uh, is the risk factor that nobody can predict. And despite how perfect the technical picture was, even uh, the, the, bad, the bad numbers uh, could just uh, erase anything. And this really was, as we, as we, as we said, uh, this, uh, the, the one factor that will be the major risk for us is the release of the data. And that was, was some kind of the prophecy. So, uh, as you can see, the poor numbers have just destroyed the short-term setup that we have discussed. What is even interesting is that uh, maybe this upward action will not get any uh, consequences. Maybe it will, it will not get any uh, continuation. But uh, the, the fact that even just the upward action that will be erased maybe uh, just destroy the, the setup that was made. That is the m most negative effect, uh, from, from, from the such sort of the events. That's why guys, as I said a million of times in our updates on the forum that I try to avoid the trading any date releases, especially the very important such, such as the non-farm pearls, gross domestic product releases, or retail sales and something of that sort. But that's just my personal choice. Um, there are a lot of different uh, other traders who vice versa expect the releases and successfully trade the releases. So that just that, that just is the style of trading, and uh, every trader cho choose what is uh, more suitable for its own uh, his own uh, style and personality. For me, the trading of the Data is not stand in my trading plan, so I could keep the position through the data release with the necessity. For example, if I have the profitable position, I could hold it, but uh, in this case, I probably move stop to the break even or tie the stamps. Um, so, just to avoid such events that we've got on Friday. Anyway, guys, um, speaking on the larger perspective, um, I suggest you to read our weekly research because there's some comments on the high time frame analysis. But in the short term perspective, maybe it will sound curious, but even rally on Friday hasn't changed significantly the overall picture. It mostly remains the bearish. Um, the, the major, dif the major um, difference, the major impact of this data probably will come not on the common week, but on the Fed meeting in October, so within the two weeks, only there, these non-farm pearls that it could get our, could get their final impact, with real impact on the market, because it could, it could, it could change the rhetoric of the Fed, it could change the comments from, uh, from, that will come from the Yellen on the current situation in the United States economy, and that will be the major impact on the current numbers. Until the Fed meeting, these numbers could, in fact, uh, hide for some time and could just uh, do not make the impact that really could follow a bit later. That's why if you'll take a look at the charts, you'll see that this is really mild effect right now on the market. What we have in, in, in fact, uh, yes, that was the spike here, although we have expected that market, if data could be positive, uh, in this case we expect it move down, but even here, we still expect the move down because take a look what we've got. Uh, first of all, take a look at our action. It's really fast. It's really fast acceleration here. And take a look at the response here and here. That is not this is the such sort of action. Hardly we could call it as upward continuation or establishment of the upward action right here, as like, as like here. 
it's mostly respect and just consolidation of the hidden minor target. This A, B, C top, 618 extension. That's just consolidation of the hit in this target. Mostly it reminds the bearish flag. If you will draw these lines, you will see there's some kind of the flag. What's more interesting is that recent up protection has formed the bearish grammar here. And uh, it tells that we can't go, sh go, can't take long position because trend is bearish, which remained bearish. And we've got the bearish pattern that suggests the taking out of these lows. But if market will take out of these lows, it will mean that the chances will go here will increase significantly because market will pass as it was said million of times already will pass for the minor target and it will appear between the targets in this case it will gravitate to the next target that stands at one or eight that's the current logic uh, whether this will uh, will be completed or not we will see in the nearest future if market will move above this top and will develop this success to the upside and will shift trend to the bullish side. In this case, the short-term bearish picture will be destroyed and we should be ready for upward continuation because market in this case could form the butterfly. That could be the left wing, that could become the right wing. In this case, we could expect action right to the upper border again. That's in general agrees what market does. So, so in other words, we will come to this scenario. So right now we stand with that scenario. First leg down, first leg down, retracement, retracement, downward action, downward action. But here, guys, market completes the equal AB equals CD. Uh, since this retracement is smaller than that one, completing of the AB equals CD will mean the breakout. But if market will turn up here, in this case, uh, we will turn to this upward action. So upward consideration, this could be, become upward action. So I think that you understand me. So all of this harmonic action inside of this channel. It means that market will stand inside of this channel for some more time. And the uh, moment of truth will probably come on the next week. Until the grabber is valid, we will, we will have the bearish setup. So on the 4 hour time frame chart, uh, based on the, this action, uh, based on the patterns that have been completed inside of this uh, consolidation, uh, mostly it looks like the retracement, the retracement after this ABCD pattern. So, uh, what we've got in fact on Friday. On Friday we've got the completion of this inner A, B, C minor, A, B, C, D pattern. So, A, B equals C, D. Market just has completed this A, B, C, D pattern. So, 100% extension has been hit around 134 area and that is agreement resistance. So, because we have the target of the A, B, C, D right at the FIB level and right at this upward border. Also market has completed here the stop grabber pattern. So in fact in short term perspective we have the bearer setup. And uh, so we, we could guys here we, you could deal differently with the bearer setup. Uh, if you would like more confidence to get more confidence you need some more guarantees from the market the market will move down your choice is just to wait. You need to wait at least the breakout of this consolidation the breakout with the support and move to the next target in this case chances on the bearish continuation will increase significantly if you would like to take more risk and but you you would like to take a better entry point or you just want to trade take the scalp trade on the intraday charts you could trade the grabber itself because we have the pattern you could try to trade it for that purpose you could use the hourly chart on the hourly chart market has completed the butterfly and shows the downward action. As you can see, a return right back down looks very significant. So it's not just the minor retracement of the rally. And the chances that market will not be able to develop this uh, success of this upper action looks really significant. So it looks really significant that market could fail and erase this upper action. Because this retracement down looks very significant. So too, too deep. So, uh, and the top of this action is in fact the invalidation point, the top of the stop grabber. So if you would like to trade the stop grabber, you could use levels for taking the short position here or here. This level looks uh, interesting because this is not just the FIB level. You can see this will be the weekly pivot point here and the monthly October pivot point. So market, for example, if it will reach this area and fail to pass through it, 
this will be additional support of the bearish setup because in this case it will show you that sentiment is bearish if market will test the pivots and move down. Stop anyway should be placed above the stop because guys we trade the stop grabber and the validation point of the stop grabber right here. Besides, if market will move above the stop, it will mean that daily trend will shift bullish and that will destroy short term bearish setup. That's why this is in validation point. And only if market will pass through this stop, this will be the end for short term bearish setup. Also guys take a look, this will be the weekly period resistance one and it will give you the additional uh, confirmation because we know that the pivot resistances should hold the upper retracements. If market move above the weekly pivot resistance, it means that the upper direction is not just a retracement, so it could be the short term trend. That's why beyond of uh, uh, additional resistance that it will provide, it will be also indicator of the real bullish strength. So if market will move above it, this will be additional confirmation that market is really turned to some bullish side in the short term perspective. So. For a bears, supposedly, if market will move down and will erase this upward candle, that will be additional confirmation. So from the bearish point of view, we would like to see the erasing of this candle and break out of the downside, break out of this flag and uh, moving below the 1080 lows, 10, below these lows, break out of this area and hold below it. That will give you additional confirmation that market is really bearish and you could keep your bearish position if you will take any on this stop grabber. So you can see uh, your currency right now has as the long term setups and the short term setups. So depending on your trading style you could choose what you like more. Uh, so for scalp traders you could trade the grabber. For others uh, if you are bearish you should uh, and you would like to get more uh, confirmation from the market of its bearishness you need to wait the breakout of this channel on the daily chart. If you are bullish Instead, you need to wait when the trend on the bullish on the, on the daily trend will shift bullish and market will raise the grabber. Only after that, you could try to take the long, and uh, in this case, market really could form this bar of line that will, looks promising and could lead market right to the 117, 118 area. So you can see, as from the bullish point of view, as from the bearish point of view, you do not need to hurry because uh, if any pattern will develop, as this bar of line is the downward action. It, it has really extended targets and uh, you will have a lot of time and room for taking the position. So only if you trade the on intraday and scalp trader you could uh, trade this uh, setup with this grammar.